This is a bag. It's dirty. Kind of like LVMPD Sheriff Joe Lombardo, his dirty wife Donna, and the convicted felon con artist that appears to have taught them everything they need to know about the fascinating world of real estate fraud. Joe Lombardo's wife even had a kid with the felon con man. In this dirty bag, I've got some dirty facts about Sheriff Joe Lombardo and his dirty wife and this dirtbag con artist that he'd probably prefer you didn't know. I bet she didn't even know that LVMPD Sheriff Joe Lombardo has a wife. Few people do, and I wouldn't have known either unless I was approached by journalist Lou Cola Giovanni and his business associate Nephi Olive a couple weeks ago. Lou Cola Giovanni is one of the journalists who helped expose and take down Congressman Anthony Weiner. And because of my documentary, What Happened in Vegas, and because of my experience in exposing high-level corruption, in the LVMPD. Lou and Nephi thought I would be a good person to help expose this explosive information about Joe Lombardo, his wife, and con man William Gaylor and their connection to each other. Joe Lombardo's current wife, Donna Lombardo, formerly Donna Alderson. The only time she's ever mentioned in the media is after the October massacre in Break.com where they speculate that he may have a fiance. He doesn't really ever owned her in public Ever. His marriage to Donna was not very public. Um, it's difficult to find photographs of the wedding, and you don't see her anywhere. She doesn't show up with him at events. Donna Lombardo is very big in real estate. She's a VP at a large real estate company. As we continue to dig further and further, a name continued to pop up, and that name's William Gaylor. look into William Gaylor, he has over 100 corporations that are registered in his name. William Gaylor used to be a big time real estate magnate in Las Vegas, you know, was responsible for building tons of property, millions of dollars worth of transactions, but now, if you go and look at his records, he's been sued and has judgments against him for over 15 million dollars in judgments. He was put on trial for stealing millions of dollars from the elderly in Las Vegas. look into William Gaylor, he has over 100 corporations that are registered in his name. But the registered agent is his now dead wife, Emile Bruschke, who was in her 30s, and she died during the trial. It's very curious that she died during the trial because she would be the individual that had the most information because she was named on every single one of these corporations. Donna was in business with William Gaylor for years. Donna Alderson has a child with uh, William Gaylor. His name's Jackson Gaylor. He's 22 years old. He's registered to vote in Clark County at Joe Lombardo's address. During the time that Joe was campaigning, William Gaylor was in the custody of Clark County Sheriff. While he was in custody, William Gaylor's son, Jackson Gaylor, was living in the home of Joseph Lombardo. He was a thief. He stole tens of millions of dollars. Don Alderson is deeply connected to it. On at least a couple of Gaylor's corporations, she's listed as a member of the board. Donna Lombardo was in business with William Gaylor. They had a child together, and uh, we believe that William Gaylor taught Donna everything she knows about how to use real estate to launder money. Sheriff Lombardo has done exceptionally well in real estate. If you look at the various property records, some of the homes that he purchased and she purchased were with cash. Like, there was no mortgages. These houses were just bought. And then you start digging into the deeds, you start digging into the documents. Right before he was filing for sheriff, he dumped several properties. One of the houses he gave away to his new stepdaughter, Lacey Alderson, for zero dollars. And that house being transferred into her name means that he no longer has to disclose it on his financials. The problem with that is that Lacey just bought a house for herself four months before that. 
That's clearly hiding money. There's no reason to give someone a house for zero dollars when they already have their own house. The strategy behind that is to take your, uh, your liquid assets, put them into real estate, and then transfer those for someone else to hold until you're out of the campaign cycle and then the properties can revert back to you. It's really a way of deceiving the public and the question the public really needs to be concerned with is where did that money come from and why did you need to hide it? Not like he's buying trailers, he's buying mansions and flipping them, not acknowledging it, not disclosing any of the money. Lombardo stood on his soapbox and preached transparency. But I think the world knows that uh, there are brick walls that are more transparent than Joe Lombardo is. And it's important to remember that Joe Lombardo, when he ran for sheriff initially, he ran on the platform of transparency. He was going to be the transparent sheriff. And what did Mr. Transparent Sheriff do when he got into office? He cut off the public's access to radio communications after the Vegas mass shooting exposed him for lying. He didn't want to be caught in any other cover-ups by having the public hear the radio transmission, so he cut off their access. And Joe Lombardo and his lying team of lawyers even went to great lengths to try to prevent the release of the Vegas mass shooting documents, which are public information, by the way. We've seen nothing but stall tactics, diversions, uh, distractions. Um, at one point he told the public they needed to just forget about it and move on with their lives. So as you can see, transparent is exactly what this lying, manipulative, deceptive dirtbag is not. He's a fraud, he's a liar. Sheriff Joe Lombardo has deliberately covered things up, just as he's done with the Vegas mass shooting. And my documentary, What Happened in Vegas, further exposes Lombardo as a lying fraud whose real role is to protect MGM from legal liability.